So recently I came across a very interesting weirdness to uh, an iMac display problem that I thought I'd share with everybody. Um, last year I bought uh, a Bondo Blue Trailload iMac and where I bought it from was an office that was closing and they also had some other iMacs. They had a 27 inch late 2000 iMac which uh, I very generously got for free. It was working uh, as far as I know when I got it, bought it at home, plugged it in, seemed to be fine, shut it down, didn't use it. And then um, I thought it would be useful for my son who's going off to university. I thought he'd just use it for you know, streaming content, maybe as a second screen for his own computer. And um, so we took it up there, plugged it in, turned it on, and after about 30 seconds, the display uh, switched off. And um, it wasn't clear whether it was switching off or whether the uh, backlight was failing. Um, and turning off. It wasn't sure what, what the exact problem was, um, but my experience with laptops is that typically it's the um, the display electronics and voltage control which is the problem rather than the backlight because on most um, modern devices including that 2009 iMac the backlight is LED and they tend not to fail as much as the old uh, fluorescent lights in the sort of 80s and 90s laptops. So. Uh, I did a logical thing, I ordered a new board, uh, we installed that and uh, it didn't fix the problem. And so the next logical thing was that it was indeed the LED backlight to the display panel itself. Now as I got the, the iMac for free, I don't want to go spending a lot of money, uh, I'd already forked out for a, for a one piece already, um, but the the only way to fix it seems to be to replace the whole display. They were coming in, uh, new ones were 100 pounds. Uh, they were on eBay, some new old stock, believe it or not. Um, secondhand 2009 IMAX varied anything from like 20 pounds to, to 120 pounds. Um, you can buy the screen separately and they varied quite a lot from 25 up to about 75 pounds. Um, and although 25 pounds seemed like a reasonable uh, outlay to fix uh, a really nice computer. Uh, it is a 2009, late 2009 iMac. It's no longer supported by Apple. 1013 is the latest uh, Mac OS that will go on it. So it's not, it's not a very current machine. I was a bit reluctant to spend a lot of money on it. Um, so I went online as we do and looking at other causes, potential causes of this particular problem. And I didn't find one person having exactly the same problem. But in amongst all the the um, the forums I did look at, there was, there was one just post that just sprung out at me because it, it was talking about the uh, vertical sync cable and um, they'd, they'd made an offhand comment about the display brightness changing when they unplugged this. So I thought, well, let's give it a go. So basically we did. So uh, we uh, disassembled the machine again uh, we did manage to break the glass on the very first attempt at disassembling this um, when we first found the problem a few months ago. So the glass has got a small crack in it, but we disassembled the, the machine again, uh, which is actually relatively easy once you've got the glass off on these uh, 2009 IMAX. Everything's basically in front of you. Um, replacing this board was pretty easy, actually, to be honest. Um, so what I did was I just unplugged the V-Sync cable, which is one of four cables that's on the, the panel. Um, and uh, that seemed to fix it. So um, I could turn the brightness up to maximum uh, and it wouldn't uh, cut out. What was happening before is that if you turn the brightness up anything above about a quarter, the display would just switch off. Now, uh, so this does seem to fix that. I was using the machine yesterday for several hours, installing updates, etc., cetera, and uh, it, see, it stayed on the entire time. Um, after having this V-Sync cable removed. Uh, if you do remove it, you do need to just uh, tape it to make it uh, electrically isolated because it is in the vicinity of this board and next to this is the power supply. So you don't want it shorting across any of those, but um, taping it back to the side of the panel um, should prevent that from happening. But basically, since I've done that, the display seems to be working completely normally, including the brightness adjustment. So I don't know why it works. I don't know what's not going to work with the V-Sync cable attached 
Um, obviously, VSync, as I understand it from, from the graphic card side of things, prevents things like tearing when there's fast moving things on the screen. But I didn't notice anything happening on the screen since I made the modification. Uh, and that seems to have fixed it and it was free. So uh, I just wanted to share that. It's a really weird hack as I don't know why it works. If you do know, put a, put a comment uh, down below and uh, share the knowledge, but it may help somebody else who's about to spend a lot of money on a machine that probably isn't really worth it. Um, so I hope you find that useful. Uh, we'll catch you on the next video.